Three, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, if you did not observe to do the commandments which Moses laid out to the children of Israel, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now you might say, well, what curse? Because a lot of y'all don't believe that you're living in a curse. That you're living in times where the curses are being fulfilled just like Moses said they would be. Because you're walking around, you're eating, you're talking, you're getting up every morning, you're doing what you want. So you don't feel like the Bible is in effect, but the Bible is in full effect. And I'm going to show you how it's full effect that all these curses came to pass that Moses said was going to come to pass. You read verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Now, when you was in slavery, when we was in slavery, what was we doing in the field? Back then, what was we doing in the field? You was picking cotton, sugar, sugar cane plantations, you was working in gold mines, you was gathering silver, you was under heavy burden forced upon you through your enemies. You was in heavy bondage. Read. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Back again. In the field. Not just in the field back then, but leading up to day, you're still cursed in the field. You're cursed in the job field. Because you're the last one hired, but you're the first one fired, or let go, or laid, laid off. And if you laid off, you'd be lucky if you be called back. You might not be called back. Give me um, verse 33. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. The fruit of thy land and your labor shall another nation eat up. That's anything. When they came over here, and they saw the land, and they saw the land was good. What did they do? They connived, they swindled, they schemed, and took all the land, all the resources, all the gold, all the wealth of the land they stole from you. Your enemy stole all this land from you, and then called you a legal immigrant. This is some of the curses. This is why these things are taking place, because we didn't hearken to the words that was given unto us. Just like you're not hawking, hawking to the word now. You're walking around. You're not paying attention to the word. We try to bring the word to you so you may save your soul. Read. Verse 17. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be your basket and your store. Any business that you try to create. Any business that you can think of. That you try to um, bring it to existence. That you try to manifest they always end suddenly and quickly. Most of your peoples don't shop, they don't support the business. That's, that's a curse. That's a curse. That's why that take place and most of the business shut down. About a year or so, two, two, two years or so, you out of business. You can't seem to get it off the ground. Unlike other people's coming, they open up their storehouses and they business, they seem to prosper, prosper even though they from another country. Why is that? It's because you didn't listen to the commandments that was given unto you. You didn't listen to the commandments. I'm going to show you another curse, which you do to this very day. Just to show you that the book is real and that it's true. I'm going to give you another curse that is relevant today. Read. Verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Read it from the top. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. And the Lord shall scatter you amongst all people. When you look at this sign, you see the transportation that was used to scatter you amongst all people. You will see, hey, bro, bro, let me ask you a question. Come here, come here, let me ask you a question. You see the sign right here? Look at this right here. I say the Lord shall scatter you amongst all peoples. Now, that was a curse that was given to the blacks and Native American Hispanics if we did not keep the commandments. This is how we scatter 
through all nations. You know about this? You know about the transatlantic slave ship? And this is how we got it. Do you wonder why everywhere you go that we there? This is why we there. What's your name? Markel. Okay, let me ask you a question, Markel. So, what, what's your father's nationality? Mexican, Puerto Rican, Black American? Okay, so right here, check this sign out right here. Check this sign out right here. You see this right here? Have you heard of this before? Have you heard that you're the Israelites according to the um, strips? Now, let me ask you something. If you heard of it, do you believe it though? Okay, you, you say you believe it, right? I got something for you. Give me, uh, you say you believe it. Give me, uh, give me uh, 1538 numbers. Say you believe it. I'm, 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 come around here, come around. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me hit you with a scripture right quick. Now you say you believe it. I'm finna see if you believe it. The book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. What is that talking about? Because I'm speaking to you now. So he bid me to speak unto the children of Israel like he told Moses to do and that they make them what? Fringes in the borders of their garment. What is that talking about? Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a third expound on it. Read throughout their generations. Throughout their generation, I mean, as long as we're generated, as long as we're on the earth, you supposed to have fringes and a border blue. Read and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. Now you say you believe, right? Now let me ask you something. What's with your fringes, bro? What's with your fringes? It say, it say, it say, bid them. So, I'm, I'm, because the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm trying to save you. Then if I don't tell you this, then I'm at fault. See what I'm saying? So I got to let you know your transgression. Now, I'm saying, since you know it, where's your border of blue and your fringes? That's, that's, that's the question, where is that? I'm saying, well, when you come back, the next time I see you, you should have fringes on the border blue, right? to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.